Okay, so this is the uh, the next one I was uh, I was sent to look at. Um, again, this is a, a, a common one that we use. It's uh, key stage three, key stage four. Um, a common mathematical problem: work out Fibonacci sequence. And in this case, uh, read the limits, the the bit they go up to, um, in from the user. So let's have a look at how we solve this in Flagrhythm. So you can see here, um, I'm inputting my size. This is how big the, the limits I'm going to set. Um, I've come down. I've got. I'm keeping it in an array. In here, so I'm just going to. So uh, you have to remember that the Fibonacci is the last one plus the previous one. So we need to store these values. Um, come into my loop. And my loop enables me to store my Fibonacci. Now, the, the known Fibonacci sequence starts zero and one. We know it's going to start zero one one. So what I've done here is done a check to see if it's a zero or if it's a one. So that if it's a zero or one at the start, it's just going to store those two values. So it gives me that first zero and one. Once they're out of the way, um, I can then start using the previous numbers to create the Fibonacci sequence, which is the calculation here. So it's the, uh, the value in the Fibonacci in, the, in our um, list, in our array, is the two previous plus the one previous makes the new one. So let's step through it and just see what we get it'd be nice if we can get the variable window open at the same time so let's pop that over there we can see our program there let's get the variable window open pop that over there and let's step through it so we're going through it it's going to ask me for my limit so my limit let's do the, uh, the up to the tenth Fibonacci value we'll pop that there and we'll step through. So here we go, it's going through. Can you see the variables being declared here? Let's get the array open. There we go, so there's our 10 there. Um, so we step through, first time through the zero just gets put in, then the one gets put in. Now this time, now we've got two, we can start doing the calculation. So the zero and the one is the one, then we've got the two, then we've got the three, the five, the eight, the 13, 21 and finally 34 and that's the last one so our program ends there you go nice and simple solution to the uh, to the Fibonacci sequence I hope that's found that useful